incredible film. I couldn't take my eyes off the film the entire time. Like, it just oh. what a great story. And the performances, you two were amazing. Can you tell me what it was about your characters that you really enjoyed the most playing and the predicaments that they were in? Uh, the lines of the Nyaka are exceptional, are very... Uh, it's uh, a great pleasure to, to play these lines, you know. And um, for me, um, it was a new uh, character uh, in my sixth film with Denis. And this new character was uh, it was very uh, special. Um, an accountant of a criminal biker group, but very clever about how the criminal system uh, how it works the, the, the criminal system, and uh, it was a pleasure to play that. And people told me, but whew, I'm a little bit upset because uh, he's a criminal, <laughs> but I like him. Yeah, we, attached, <laughs> we get attached to this guy. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and, and that's, that's the deal, you know, yeah. with the deal. Yeah. Um, and for me, I guess it was the... Well, the way he, he thinks and the way he uh, see things, he has a, a different perspective on things. And I like the way that the character is just, uh, well, he studied in philosophy. So uh, he has a PhD, he's a brilliant guy, but he works as a delivery guy. And, he, and, and he's faced with this dilemma. D dilemma? D dilemma? Dilemma. Dilemma. <laughs> yeah, of of of, uh, of just taking the money and, and leave and leave with it and 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 act in his way and different kind of generosity and also like thinking of all the possibilities that goes with this money. Yeah, you know this trio an escort, a delivery man who has a study in philosophy and a criminal, is a nonsense. <laughs> These yeah. people don't have to, to 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 be together in life. They, 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 but it works. It definitely <laughs> works it very really well, works yes. Well. And that's, uh, we were all, all together, the three of us, uh, with uh, uh, Pierre Curzi, uh, yes, um, uh, later in the movie. And this group is very... Uh, particular. Part particular, yeah. Now, Remy, you, as you said, you've worked with Denis Arcand before. Alexander, was this your first time working with him? And how did he find you? Did you audition, or had he seen you in something? Yeah, it was my first time with him. Uh, I auditioned. I, I did uh, two uh, auditions, and then uh, and then I guess he just chose me. I, I, I was so honored because I saw all his film, and I was, I was thrilled to, to work with him. And I noticed that he has a, um, well, he knows how to listen, listen to people. And I think in this business, it's, it's really important because uh, in order to make a good film, you need to be aware of all, what, what, what people give around, like uh, the actors and, 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 and also yeah. technicians. And, 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 it's, and he's, a, he, he, he's a wisdom guy, he's, he's brilliant. Now, Remy, you've worked in English language productions as well as French language yeah. productions. What's the difference on set between the two besides the obvious, the language? I, I <clears> don't <throat> see any difference. Really? <laughs> really. Oh. Uh, I work in English and television. I work in, uh, yeah. Um, film, uh, cinema is a great family, you know. And uh, all the people, all the technicians, all the, the, the actors, and you know, all. I am, no, I don't see any difference between. Yeah, I worked in France, I worked in, uh, uh, even in, uh, in Jordania, uh, so it's, it's a great family and uh, all the peoples are very concentrated. And, uh, that's, yeah. And you, you often talk on the set that cinema is a language itself. Yeah. So I guess when you when you talk cinema, when you talk and, and, and you're interested in the same business, well, you get along with people and you, you find your way, you, you, you make it possible. Yeah. And just one last question. How, what would you do if you found yourself in the situation that Pierre Paul was in where there's two bags of cash and nobody looking at the moment? Would you be brave enough to do what he did and take the cash? We uh, often pose <laughs> this question. Yeah, I, was I must say that if I, I, I f uh, find in this two bags of cash, I know that is not legal cash, <laughs> and I know that a lot of people 
are <laughs> looking after these bags. <laughs> so I don't think I, I, I would touch it. Maybe I could take it. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think I, I would do, touch the, uh, the bags. Yeah. Uh, we, we thought about it a lot because people yeah. asked it. And, 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 uh, and I still don't know, I guess, uh, what people, the way people, uh, the way Pierre Paul in the film take the money, it's, it's a really instinctive Uh, impulse, and I, I guess when you're faced to this, it will, it you you couldn't imagine what you would do, right? So yeah, I guess, I guess I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, same here. I have no idea. I, I don't think I'd be that brave, though. Thank you so much for thank talking to much. me today, and thank you for thank this you. film.